Hi, I'm Scott with uh, Michigan Pool News with Andy with Aquatic Source, and uh, today we are going to talk um, a little bit about uh, energy savings. And when we started talking about the, the types of pumps that are out there that are uh, pumping and uh, um, the ability to put variable frequency drives on so you can start saving money, um, we got into kind of an issue in the shop about some of the things we're seeing. Um, and I mean, I think that's normal, Andy, for an impeller. This is the normal impeller, no wear, nice and clean. Uh, what happens is, is the, as the trap baskets or the filters get dirty, you start causing problems with the pumps. Even though the pumps are still running with the same RPMs, causing the same energy use, the pumps start to get worn from cavitation, lack of flow through the pumps, uh, valves close, causing excess vacuum on the pumps. And what happens is the vacuum increases or cavitation, it starts destroying the back of the impellers. It takes the same amount of uh, energy to turn the pump, but yet you're not getting the flow rate, and your flow meters start going down. So what do you think this? What do you think this one would have lost in flow? Was this one losing flow yet? Uh, you, you would have lost probably about 25 percent, I'd say, of the flow rate. Uh, even though your energy is still at 60 hertz and costing you the same to run it, your your uh, flow rate or your turnovers probably dropped 25 percent. Uh, it's also uh, if it's destroying out the impellers and it's either water chemistry uh, or air in the system, you're also taking out the copper and heaters also. So what, what's a sign? What's, a, what's an operator seeing and happen in his pool? Obviously the flow rate drops if, if yep. his flow meter is accurate. Yeah, um, uh, the flow meter dropping, you start getting air in the system uh, and you can't see it coming from any place else. What's happening is the cavitation is pulling the air out of the water. Is there any noises that are different? Uh, the pump? pitch of the motor will change, but yet it's not going to be, unless you're in there all the time, you wouldn't notice the difference. So this one was probably more from cavitation, and this yep. impeller, what's left of that thing? This is the same impeller, and this is either cavitation and or water chemistry. Uh, and believe it or not, this was still pumping some water. <laughs> 10%? Uh, yeah, they thought it was the whole motor. What it was, it was just the impeller. And if it was pumping anything, it probably just barely registered on the flow meter. Uh, the pressure on the pump probably had started dropping, or on the filter system started dropping a long time before we pulled it apart. Yeah, I can't believe that the other parts of the system, heaters and so forth, would even yeah. fire with something like this. Yeah. The heater was probably one of the first uh, symptoms is the uh, cold water. Yeah. So um, these are all uh, out of, uh, I think, a Stay Right uh, yep. D-series yep. type pump. That's correct. Yeah. So, um, you know, and the 15s and 20s, the impellers get bigger, but the, the metal itself is pretty soft. I, I would get age, what do you think? Maybe hard to say. Uh, it's hard to say, but I had one that uh, was actually a year old and ended up about the same. Wow, that fast. Yep. So below, um, um, attached to the site, there's an energy uh, a calculator, or not really a calculator, but a sheet up against how many kilowatts you're burning while these things are running. Whether yours is in this condition, this condition, or new, um, makes a lot of difference in how your system runs. So um, if you take a look at that, it actually tells a little bit about some of the um, savings you could acquire. So, thanks, Andy. Thank you. Thanks for viewing Michigan Pool News.